The Glock 19 is really the pinnacle of modern polymer semi-automatic handguns. It is sort of the benchmark, you could say, of what all other handgun companies are trying to produce. Hey, welcome back to guns.com. My name is Ben. Earlier this year, I was looking for my first handgun here in the US. I'd recently moved from Canada, became a resident here in Arizona, which I love. And I was looking for my first handgun that could be my go-to gun that could do it all. And so I asked a number of friends, some of my workmates as well, if they had suggestions. And I got a few different options. Uh, one friend in particular whom I trust and respect, Mark Muller, said, you know what, dude, just get a Glock 19. Just get a Glock 19, it's affordable, it's reliable, it goes bang every single time you pull the trigger and you can trick it out, you can keep it stocked, but you know what? It's probably the only handgun that you really need and it should be your first handgun. And so, uh, you know, I, 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 the Glock in general, it's been around for about 30 years, which is actually a really good thing, but it's also kind of a little bit dated perhaps and there's all of these newer handguns coming out and there's a couple that are pretty, pretty cool. The Walter PDP in particular, a, a workmate of mine has it. He loves it, he swears by it. The trigger is supposed to be out of this world. Um, but you know what, it's only been out a, like a, a, just a little over a year. And you know, I think back to the SIG 320 when it came out, there were a few little hiccups, you know, it's all been fixed, but um, it kind of made me hesitate a little bit. And then I was looking at the guns.com website one day and I saw a Gen 5 Glock 19, this one here, the desert tan color. I live in Arizona, so it matches where I live. And it looked like it was literally brand new. It was a used, certified used gun. And so I bought it. I purchased it and it arrived a few days later and true to the description and photos, the thing I swear had never been shot. And so I was a little hesitant why somebody would sell a literally brand new gun. And so I've put quite a few hundred, like over a th almost a thousand rounds to this gun and it has worked absolutely flawlessly. So whoever had it, sold it, maybe they changed their mind, I don't know. But I think I got a sweet deal, it was a good price and I'm super pumped about it. I think it's just a great gun to have, especially as a first gun. I have a few more guns now, but <laughs> um, as a first gun, I don't think you can go wrong with a G19. These Gen 5s now have the front serrations, 15 rounds in the magazine, one in the chamber. That's a pretty good capacity. The trigger's pretty sweet. Marksman barrel, supposed to be more accurate, who knows? No finger grooves, you know? It's just got all the traits of, uh, of a fantastic gun. I got medium sized hands and it fits really well. It's the most popular handgun on the planet and there's a good reason for it. You know, this has been around literally, it came out in 1988, I think. Um, they've perfected it over the years. This thing is super reliable, you know? Uh, I trust my life on this gun. And so if you're looking for your first gun or if you own only one handgun, this is probably the only handgun you really honestly need, you know? But what's beautiful is there's tons of other guns out there that you can go and get and you should. But this is my go-to gun and I highly recommend it. It is the pinnacle of polymer, semi-automatic, good capacity handguns. So check it out. If you go on guns.com, we have lots of new and used guns. We have ammo, accessories, we have hunting gear, optics. We have all kinds of stuff. We would love to be your one-stop shop for all of your Second Amendment needs. My name's Ben with guns.com. Get out there and shoot, have fun, be safe, and we'll see you on the next video.